Well, it's been a while. I, uh, I apologize if there's like a lot of noise. I'm in front of a really busy street, but this is just, is what I'm feeling right now. So I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak. Um, also the quality is shit because I'm using my iPhone right now to film and I'm using the front camera because I ain't got nothing to hold my phone. So I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it raw and I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. It's been like five months, I stopped posting. A lot has happened. So this is gonna be like a quick recap, a quick update of what has been going on with Mema? Where has she been? What's going on? All of that. So I actually have like a lot of, a few videos filmed that I was going to upload, like four or five, I wanna say. And eventually they'll make their way up there, but I felt like I needed to explain myself and where the hell I have been. So here it goes. A few months ago, I got out of a five plus relationship and shit's been hard. It's been, it's been hard to adjust to the mentality of basically not having that person to run to that you're so used to. And it has not been easy. It's, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than I thought. Well, that made no, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than I thought, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Basically, I decided to end my relationship because I was not happy. I was not happy with myself. I knew I didn't make that person happy anymore. And there was just not enough love. Well, not even that, but the love was not enough to keep a relationship going. And it sucks because, like I said, it's somebody that I grew up with, that I've known my entire life, somebody that I mentally, physically, and spiritually grew with, somebody that I took a lot of huge steps with. And to just have that person completely removed from your life is very hard. It's very difficult. But I'm doing it. And every step that I make is an even bigger accomplishment because I did it by myself now. I can't simply take credit completely by myself because I have a huge support of amazing people that are behind me and my family is so beautiful and full of love. My sisters are wise beyond their years even though they're all my younger sisters so I am completely grateful and blessed to have all that support behind me. At the same time, it is a mental battle. It's a mental battle to try to tell myself that I am good enough, that it is the right decision that I made, that no matter what others think, they don't know me, they don't know my story. So there's only so much judging that they can do. So long story short, I have been dealing with a lot of mental pain, a lot of emotional pain, and relearning what love is, what true love is, unconditional, pure, and unselfish love, which is something that I haven't felt in a while, a very, very long time. But I know that I'm capable of all that. I know I'm capable of good, and I'm, I know I'm capable of bad. And the reason why I chose not to be in my relationship anymore is because it was bringing out more of the negative than the good. And when something is getting to that point then you know it's not good anymore i just saw myself spiraling down i felt unmotivated i felt depressed i had no passion for anything even even for youtube i didn't feel like making videos i didn't feel like i was good enough i was constantly being brought down i was being torn apart and i was my 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 flaws were being used against me and because of that, I felt like, like they were even, is that a bee? I don't want to kill you, bee, but listen, we can't be friends. Because of all the stuff that's been happening, I have uh, felt off track with a lot of things. I felt track with my health, my mental um, journey. I was trying to work on the whole law of attraction and attracting beautiful things into my life, which I believe 
honestly, even though there has been so many negative things that have been happening because of that, I feel like I've been practicing the law of attraction even more. Crazy good things just keep falling into place and I keep wondering why. And I'm like, well, actually, I've been trying to attract these things for the longest time and here they are. So I just laugh at myself and I laugh at the universe because it's crazy how simple life is and how much we complicate it. This video is more for me than anyone else to remind myself that yes, I am at this point and it's not a very good point, but it can only be up from here. I have a lot of plans coming up. I have a lot of goals that I've already accomplished, which is great, like career wise, and a lot of goals that I plan to accomplish. So cheers to getting back on your feet cheers to being knocked down and having it be okay because life is not perfect cheers to loving yourself and i love you guys so much and thank you for sticking with me for those who did not unsubscribe from my channel even though i have been ghost literally ghost so i hope you guys um understand me and i hope you stick with me and like I said, there are a few things that I'm not ready to talk about, but in the future, I definitely will. Because I don't talk about these things to get sympathy or to try and get subscribers. I talk about them because I want to connect with others who are going through the same thing that I am. And yeah, I'm getting emotional, so I'm going to end this video because I'm just a wreck. <laughs> but yeah cheers to the future today is going to be a good day today is already a freaking great day and it's not even 7 a.m so cheers to that there are certain things that we just can't control in this life and they do bring us down but it's really important to not focus on those things because if i can't do anything about it why stress about it and i know that that's easier said than done because i'm in this situation and it's so much easier to just like be in my feelings and feed off all these negative truck truck it is so much easier to um, feed off these emotional like these negative situations and have them affect my whole day than to just let them go but if i can't do anything about a situation for example my bus is late and i'm going to be late to work i can't do anything about that bus being late i just can't but most people will stress the whole time, they'll stress the whole way, and then their day will end up being stressful. And it's really, really, really important to recognize those situations and know that there's absolutely nothing you can do about them. So it's important not to feed off them. Do not feed off negativity. And it's easier to feed off negativity than positivity. And that's why the world is so negative right now. And it's dangerous to even say that, what I just said, the world is so negative right now, because it's not. Yes, there are a lot of bad things and it's okay to recognize them, but to feed off them is a completely different thing. I need to, and you as well, need to remember the grateful things, the good things, even if it's your damn coffee that you got today. I am grateful for this coffee because somebody out there they can't have this coffee they can't afford this coffee or they just can't get to this coffee and i have it so i'm grateful for it i'm grateful to have legs that i walk with i'm grateful to have a voice i'm grateful to be privileged in this world and even though others may be more privileged than i am in this situation i'm still privileged and i'm grateful for that so live long prosper yes i'm a trekkie always have been and yeah, focus on the good. And remember, you are beautiful, you are prosperous, and you are freaking amazing. And you are going to crush this life just like me, one step at a time. What's that song? Every inch is a mile. It doesn't matter, though, because we going to get there. We going to get there. All right, guys, peace out, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.